The Prime Minister of Japan has vowed never to wage war again on the anniversary of the country's Second World War surrender. Now, some members of Fumio Kishida's cabinet visited the controversial Yasukuni Shrine to mark the date, irking both China and South Korea. Officials in Seoul expressed deep disappointment and regret, while Beijing urged Japan to learn the lesson of history. It's a tricky balancing act for Japanese leaders, commemorating World War II military leaders and war dead at the Yasukuni Shrine, seen as a symbol of the militaristic and colonial past of Japan. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida decided not to visit this year and sent an offering instead, along with a solemn vow. But members of his cabinet made the trip down to pay their respects, stepping on the toes of China and South Korea. Koreans who mark the date as National Liberation Day resent Japan's colonization of the peninsula, while China has bitter memories of imperial troops' invasion and occupation of parts of the country. Recently assassinated former PM Shinzo Abe was the last prime minister to visit Yasukuni while in office in 2013, a visit that outraged both China and South Korea and even drew a rebuke from its close ally, the US. Tokyo's ties with China are already strained this year, with several Chinese missiles falling inside Japan's exclusive economic zone during military exercises around Taiwan after Nancy Pelosi's visit. In downtown Tokyo, people of all ages packed the shrine to pay their respects. Mr. Kishida has pledged to substantially increase Japan's defense budget, citing the increasingly tense regional security environment. But he's made no commitment to one of Mr. Abe's dreams, revising the country's pacifist constitution.